So once you open up Snagit Recorder, what happens is that you get this all-in-one recording feature. So it's not feature specific as image or video tab right here, but if you want a quick capture uh, and not sure whether you want to take video or a photo, then you can simply go around over here. So here in the selection, you can expand this out. In the selection, you can select region, window, or full screen right here. And then over here, you can see that there are share options that you can choose as well. And besides that, you have preview and editor feature, copy to clipboard, capture cursor, and five second delay, and so forth, just like that. So if I were to go over here, just like that, let me just open out the TXT right here and bring this up just like this. So this is what I'm going to take screenshot of. So let me just increase this in size as well. So now what I can do is I can simply capture and select this area right here, just like that. And it asks me whether I want to capture an image, whether I want to capture um, a video or a panoramic capture, just like this. I can also redo selection right here, just like this. And I can just select out the area. So let me do a panoramic capture in this one. And now what I can do is I can hit start and then just scroll down right here. And that is how the panoramic capture actually takes in into effect as you can see right here. So slowly I can just go around right here and then it captures everything in panoramic mode. So once I stop it, it processes the capture right over there. And you can see that the panoramic capture is there. It's not perfect, but did the job quite well, as you can see right here. As I zoom in, you can see all of my thumbnails right there, just like that. And that is how you can use the all-in-one recorder inside of Snagit. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.